Let's make one more tutorial in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to use the extrude and combine. And we will play with some arcs. So open the Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part, we will select the top plane and make this sketch. We will create the base first. So here in the center of this rectangle will be the midpoint and we'll make a rectangle with 200 millimeters by 120 millimeters. So go to create a sketch, select the top plane, select the two point rectangle, center rectangle, click here in the midpoint, make a rectangle here 120 by 200 millimeters and press OK. And in the corners, we have a fillet with 20 millimeters of radius. So go to modify, select the fillet, make a fillet here with 20 millimeters. Okay. And in the base, we'll make this circle. This circle has 15 millimeters of diameter. And this circle is coeccentric with this arc. So select the circle, make a circle here at this point with 15 millimeters. Go to Constraint, select the equal. Make this circle with the same diameter. Now finish the sketch. We need to extrude this. So we will extrude this letter D 21.5 millimeters. So go to extrude, select this profile 21.5 millimeters of distance, operation new body, and press OK. We made this. Now we'll make this sketch here in the top face to make a cut and this cut will have three millimeters of distance and this sketch is a line and an arc here and another line the distance between this line here and this one 42 millimeters the distance here 42 millimeters and the radius here is 15 millimeters so go to create a sketch select the top face Go to create project include project, select the selection filter bodies, select this body, press OK. Select a line, a construction line, make a construction line between the center of this two line here and between the center of this two line. And select a line, remove the construction line type, make this sketch here, a line, an arc, and another line. Make sure that this arc is tangent with the both lines and go to sketch dimension. The distance here 42 millimeters and the distance here 42 millimeters. The radius here 15 millimeters of radius. Now go to create, select a mirror, select this three line here. The mirror line is this construction line, press OK. Go to mirror again, select the both sketch here, and the mirror line is this construction line, and press OK. Finish the sketch, show the body one, go to extrude, select this profile, make a cut with minus 3 millimeters, operation cut, and press OK. We made this. Let me add some color here. Okay. Now, we will make this hook here. So the first thing that we'll make, we'll go to create a sketch and select the right plane. 
and go to create select the project include project select the body select this body and press ok i will hide the body one here and here we'll make a step by step and the first thing that we'll make here we'll create a line and the distance between this point and this point here eight millimeters and the angle between this line and the top face here is c 16 millimeters so select a line make a line here go to sketch dimension the distance here eight millimeters and the angle here 16 degrees we made this now we will create this arc with 20 millimeters of radius and this one with 50 millimeters of radius and look that the the center of this arc is vertical with the center of this arc and the point where this arc meet this arc is vertical with this point okay so go to create select the arc three point arc click at this point make an arc here and make another arc here tangent the arc must be tangent with the line and tangent with the other arc go to sketch dimension the radius here 20 millimeters of radius and the radius here 50 millimeters of radius no problem move this a little bit find the point where the this arc meet this arc move this here and go to constraint select horizontal vertical select this point and this point here and the distance between the center of this arc and this face is letter a 44 millimeters so go to sketch dimension the distance here 44 millimeters we made this now we will create this arc this arc has seven millimeters of radius and it is tangent with the other arc here and the distance between the center of this arc and the top face is 70 millimeters so go to create select the arc three point arc click here in this point make an arc here tangent with this arc go to sketch dimension the radius here is seven millimeters and the distance between the center of this arc and the top face is 70 millimeters let me move this dimension here a little bit we made this now we will create this arc this arc has 40 millimeters of radius and the center of this arc is horizontal with this point so go to create select the arc three point arc click at this point make an arc here tangent with this one and go to sketch dimension the radius here is 40 millimeters of radius and the center of this arc is here let's move this a little bit and go to constraint select horizontal vertical select this point and this point here we made this and now we needed to create this arc with 120 millimeters of radius from this point to this arc here so go to create select the arc three point arc click here in this point and in this point make an arc here to this side and go to construct select the tangent make this tangent here let me you need it to delete this it is not tangent with this line okay the radius here is 120 millimeters we made this so finish the sketch we need to extract this 30 millimeters 
So show the body one, go to extract, select this profile, and the extended type, select the distance, the direction, symmetric, measurement, whole length, and the distance here, 30 millimeters. The operation here must be new body. Press OK. We have the body one, the base, and the body two. Hide the body one. And now we need to make this cut here. Sorry. We need to remove this area. We have an angle here with 80 degrees, the angle between these two lines here. So let's make this. Go to create a sketch and select the front plane. And here go to create and select the project including project. Select this body and press OK. Select the line, click at this point, make a line here and make a line here. And go to constraint, select the equal, select this line and this one. And the angle between these two lines is 80 degrees. Finish the sketch, go to extract. I will hide this body a little bit. Select this area and this area. Show the body too. The direction here, symmetric. The extended type, select the all. Operation cut and press OK. We made this. Now show the body one and go to combine the target body, the body one and the two body, the body two. The operation here is join, press OK. We made this and I will add some color here. And here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more. And see you in the next videos. Bye bye.